Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Lawman FJ. So today the One UI 3.0 official update came out for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Now, I'm sure the Galaxy Note 20 is getting this as well. Now, this is the T-Mobile Sprint version. Um, it's out, so I'm gonna take a look at it to see what's different from the beta version, okay? I do have the beta, I had the beta version on the Galaxy S20 uh, Ultra, and so we'll see if there's any differences there, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the build number. Let's go into settings. Go down here to uh, about phone software information. As you can see, One UI 3.0. This is Android 11. And the build number right there uh, ends with 1CTL2. All right, that's the uh, US Sprint version right there, okay? Um, December security up, uh, patch came with that as well. And uh, I'm not sure why the, the S20 didn't get the official update, but it's kind of strange how that came out to the Note 20 first. So uh, I'm not sure what T-Mobile is doing there. I know uh, Samsung has already released it, so it's not their fault. These are carrier uh, issues right here. All right, but uh, that's, that's what it is, all right? So Note 20 Ultra with the official Galaxy uh, with official One UI 3.0 update, okay? Okay, let's take a look at some of the other new features there. Now again, like I mentioned earlier, I had the beta on the S20, so I've seen some of these stuff, some of these updates already, but one of the most notable updates is when you pull down the security shade, um, you're, you're gonna get your, your, your chats and your messages will be in a separate uh, area there called conversations, all right? So there you go right there. And your media is gonna be in its own separate area right there, right above the uh, brightness uh, slider there. And uh, you can slide through different uh, media that you're playing right now. So if you got more than one media player open, you can just slide through all of them to try to use which one you want. You can keep them in uh, memory right there, okay? So that's pretty cool. And you got this kind of rounded look right here that uh, helps with the notification there. Uh, so that's pretty cool, okay? Now, when you go into settings, one of the things that they improved is getting to the, uh, some, the tabs are a little bit cleaner, okay? So you notice that. But also, um, you have your Samsung login up top right there, where you can just tap on that and go into the Samsung account and do what you need to do right there, okay? You can sign out if you need to. You see that right there, so that's pretty cool. Now, uh, to get to the home screen, it's right here on one of the tabs now. You don't have to go inside the apps to get to the home screen, um, uh, So you, the home screen function. So you can do that right there. And also in the uh, app area, if you go in here, one time before you had to take, tap these three dots to get into the default apps. Well, that's already on the front page right there when you open it up. So you get to default apps by, by clicking on that tab without having to browse through and go through this three dots and all that stuff, right? So that's pretty cool right there. Big improvement. So, you know, uh, the Galaxy phones always had the ability to, to double tap to uh, turn on the screen, but now you can double tap to turn it off. So double tap and it'll go off. Now you gotta go into settings to set that up. And so you go into settings and you go into advanced features, you go into um, motion and gestures, and you'll see the tab to turn on, double tap to uh, turn on the screen, double tap to turn off the screen. All right, so you got two of them there, okay? Now, with the One UI 3.0, you got the Samsung Free app, all right? They replaced the Samsung Daily and the Bixby app with Samsung Free. Now, one of the things I recognize is that with the official update, um, you they kind of updated this app as well. So when it, when it was in beta version, you had a, a you had three tabs here. You had a read tab, a play tab, and you had a tab for media. That's where you had the Samsung TV app integrated there. I'm glad it took that out. You know, it was it was all right. It was an all right feature, but I'm glad it took it out because it made this too complicated. And this is not as sluggish as it was before. Okay, so you still got the play area right there where you can play games. And then you got the read area, all right? You go into the settings. If you want to change the categories and select what you want, you go into settings and do that. You can reorder them if you want to. 
So that's been improved somewhat with the official update. Actually, the beta, everybody that has, if you got Samsung free, you're gonna get that new update already. So you don't need to have 3.0 to get that. Even if you got um, in beta version, you can still get it uh, on the, uh, the update. Okay, so that's pretty cool. All right. So one of the things you'll, thing you'll notice is when you pull down this, the uh, notification shade, you used to have the media tab under here in this area right here. Well, you gotta pull down one more time and then you get the media and devices tab right there, right? So you can tap on media, see what the, what the media is and then uh, you can you know tap, tap on the other tab to see what devices you have uh, hooked up right there, okay? Okay, now the update came in at 2,579 megabytes. All right, now this is for the T-Mobile version, so it might be, it might differ a little bit from uh, with other versions, but that's what it came in as um, at this uh, uh, with this new update right here. Okay, now this is a change log that came with it. You know, you got a visual design update, uh, the improved performance, battery, a better uh, customization there, um, and you have enhanced features. With the home screen and lock screen there, you can change your widgets on there, put a different clock. Um, you can have uh, the always on, customize a little bit more. Calls and chats, uh, those are separately, I showed that to you already. Pictures and videos, in the, in the gallery app, you're gonna be able to do some more editing in the gallery app there that you didn't do before. Settings is a little bit more improved, I showed a few things there already. And the keyboard, uh, it's got some improvements as well. Increased number size, uh, you know, emojis and all that. Um, then you got productivity. Uh, to kind of kind of keep a healthy balance between work and play and your media control all right so lots of new updates uh in this uh new, lots of new features in this new update right here okay so um i'll share this as well if you'd like uh, to get this uh, change log right here okay so just let me know in the comments okay so that was a quick look at the one ui 3.0 update for the galaxy note 20. this is on t-mobile usa version all right now uh, I think it's a pretty good update. Glad it's here, and it came quicker. Samsung did a good job. Didn't wait till January or February to put it out. It came out a couple of months after Google uh, put their official Android update up. So that's a big improvement. So that's, kudos to Samsung for doing that, all right? Now, if you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for videos like this. This is Lawman FJ, out.